kind of exciting because this is a four foot canvas, biggest one yet. You can see I tried it a couple of days ago. I kind of didn't like it. Um, so I'm painting over it. I learned a few things and we're going to get to it. So today's theme is kind of beachy. So we're going to have golds and blues and hopefully it will look like a beach. Um, I have a lot of colors going on. Most of them are color art pigments mixed with a bit of two paint. So I'll go through them quickly um, so you know what I'm doing. The only one that I didn't mix, I have a little bit of this Aerylamide Yellow Deep. Um, I really like this yellow, it holds its shape. And what I do is I put it under the gold and it holds the gold. The gold I'm using is Deco Art Extreme Sheen with a bit of Arteza 2 Pink Gold, which you can't see because it's covered in pink, but that's okay. Um, then, so what I do is, and you can go and look at my mixing video of how I mix my stuff, but um, I have Cobalt Turquoise Atelier mixed with Northern Lights. I'm gonna like lose 10 pounds off the back of board. Okay, next, I really like this blue. It's Bolivian blue with Amsterdam greenish blue. Then we have color art um, teal zircon with um, turquoise Amsterdam. And we're almost done. I have some interference blue color art. And then I have, I think this is one of my favorite combinations, Arctic opal with sky blue light okay and oh, the last one i have Payne's gray which is actually really blue in the color art mixed with prussian blue so i have to figure out how i'm going to layer them i have kind of an idea but you know my ideas never really work do they so what i'm going to do i'm going to go on an angle if i could even reach the middle i don't know and so we're gonna do, I'm thinking, a layer of the yellow first, and then the gold, I really want one side to just be like really goldy, maybe a little bit of interference blue. And then the other side, I will probably go layer dark to light to light. So, or no, wait a minute, that's not my idea. Because I wanna leave some black negative space, I'm probably not gonna cover the whole thing. So maybe I want it to go black to the dark blues and all the way to the light to the middle. So I'll figure out how to do that. Number two, I've used seven, no, I've used six or seven cans of color to go. Tricorn black, I really like it. I'm leaving this can, I'm going, once I swipe, I, I'll probably just um, pour this around so I can tilt better. I also found this funny thing. This was my first attempt at going big. <laughs> this is a six inch canvas. This is when I first started. You can see that it was not happening. So you too can go from here. Well, I don't know if I've mastered this one yet, but you get my picture. Okay, enough talking. Oh, the tools I'm gonna be using um, amongst other things are these. Um, probably for the smaller parts, I'll use my normal cardboard trick. Um, we'll see. Okay, so let's start pouring. I've made my paints a little thicker. I find they hold their shape better. So let's try to go diagonal. I don't even know where the middle is. Um, all right, let's just go for it, right? Okay. I don't even know how to attack this. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. And I'm gonna spread out the colors more rather than making them all in one line. So for the yellow, I only made one of these four ounce cups. For a lot of the colors, I made two of the four ounce cups just to make sure I have enough paint. So on this side, I'm going to lay the gold. Um, so I'm gonna start with the gold on top of it and kind of go outwards. I have another one of these golds, so it's okay. I might even, I hope I have enough color. So we'll see. Okay, now in between that, I'll put some interference blue 
don't want to waste any. So a lot of people say, oh, you're so brave for going big. I mean, the only thing you have to be afraid of is wasted paint. So what I tell people is, just be prepared, buy a gallon of paint and say this is going right in the garbage. And once you expect it to go in the garbage, it's not such a loss, and you might even get a win. Fun. Okay, so I'm gonna put some interference blue. And should I put the whole thing? Sure. I'll get it going here. Okay. And then I'll put some more gold on top. Be prepared, this is gonna be a really long video. Cause my last 30 inch one was probably about half an hour. So, hope you don't get, oh, I hope you don't get bored. Okay, next is the rest of the gold. on top of the interference, get it all mixed up. Okay, so this is gonna be our one side. Now let's start working on the blues. Okay, all right, we're not really even in the, I went too much, so I'm going to just tilt it this way. Also, you might be wondering how I'm gonna tilt this today. Elliot's away, so luckily our nanny Chris is here to help when we're so lucky. Because first of all, if it weren't for Chris, I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff because Mojo is quite a busy boy. Um, and number two, Chris is going to wear a, an entire garbage bag suit, which is going to be hilarious. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, because I want the dark blue to fade out, that's my idea. So in that case, I'm going to start with the dark blue first. I have only one of these. So you know what I'll do actually? I'm lying. I'm gonna start with the mid dark blue to make that the base. And then I'll put the dark blue at the edge um, to make sure, you know. Okay, so this is the mid dark. Oh God, okay, I should probably stand over here. Oh, this is much better. Hi. So we'll get this blue down. So I have one, I have that painted gray that is darker than this. So I'm gonna get both of these blues down. And then on near the edge of that, I will put my dark blue. You guys have to watch the last video I did because it's actually my favorite piece I've ever done. And Elliot Health, and it was our anniversary, so it was very special that I actually got something I loved. Okay, so I'm putting the darkest blue here. Okay. And that 30 inch was, I tilted it myself, but I'm not sure I could tilt anything <laughs> heavier than that. Oh, there's a little gloop in here or something. Okay. Next, so I have three more blues. And two of the blues look very similar actually. Uh, so, I'm going to layer the light, they look like two turquoises, so I'm just gonna layer, I'm gonna keep the light blue for the top is my point. So do I like what's happening? I think I'm gonna have enough paint to cover. So I'll just do this. Okay. 
I'll save that. I don't know if I need the second one of that same color, so I'm just going to go with a little bit brighter on top. And I'll keep it more towards the center. And then the Arctic Opal, the brightest of the blue, I'll keep it right to the middle. So it's kind of like graduated colors. And then I don't care if I have to swipe the Arctic Opal to the gold side or to the blue side. I think it will look nice either way. Hopefully. So we'll do, so this Arctic Blue will kind of be like the middle. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll use the other one. And then we're gonna get swiping. You haven't shut me off already. Okay. So I actually think since I wanted some negative space on this side, I might tilt it a bit this way. We'll see. Okay, are we ready? All right, so my cell activators today are white and Payne's gray. If you don't know what a cell activator is, go to my description and you can take the Shirley Art class for 15% off, it's great, I love it. Um, it comes with a great Facebook group of people all around the world and everyone's very helpful. Okay, so I'm going to put white on my tool. Make sure it's clean. In your tool between each swipe. Clean it very well. All right. No, oh, that yellow really popped up yet, but I'll get to it the next one. when that breaks up a bit. Okay. Why don't I start swiping the other way so I can kind of get an idea about what I want to do and what it looks like. Now for this way, I think I might swipe first and then add my cell activator to see what happens. So I'm going to smooch it around and see how that looks. Oh, those are pretty blues. And so you can see, so I'm gonna swipe it white now, but we'll see. But you can see there's not a lot of the dark blue because it's under here. So I think for my next swipe, I'll start darker on the darker part and see what happens. Oh, I love pigments, they're so sparkly. The only problem with that is now, because I've made this big commitment, I'm going to have to resin such a big piece, which obviously I've never done before. So that should be a whole other exciting thing to do. Alright, so I'm going to add more white and now I'm going to just go over what I just did. Okay. Yep, that's pretty, I think. Okay. 
We might actually get this today, guys. If we do, I think I'll be pretty happy. Happy camper. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing again, but this time I'm gonna schmoo, although the dark actually came out there, but it came out the opposite way that I wanted. The dark <laughs> came out in the middle. So that's okay, we can't, can't be too picky. So I'm gonna schmooge this first. I'm gonna just do a little different shade because you don't want it all looking the same. And then, does that really do anything? Maybe. I will um, do something interesting with that middle part there. All right, so I'm pouring more white. Here we go. More water. Mo wants more water, by the way. The only reason he's so quiet right now is because he's watching Frozen 2. I don't know how long that's gonna last though. However, I might have to bribe him with an ice cream if we're not done. So, we'll see. Okay, so now, because I don't want it just to be all liney like I, I do like different shapes so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down the middle and then swipe this way and maybe I'll use black now because I'm crazy like that right and then of course I'll fix the middle parts that I don't get let's see what happens with black although white cell activator I mean sorry it is pink gray however white cell activator and blues always work so nicely together See what happens when we swipe black. How am I gonna, now that's a funny thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go on top. Okay, I don't know, we'll see. Huh. Okay, around we go. All right, I don't know. Um, could be cool, yeah, I'm gonna fix I keep saying I'm gonna fix that middle, but I'm gonna wait till the cell activator kind of shrinks back where it wants to be. All right, so now I'm gonna continue my beachy side, although I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna turn out like a beach anymore. Um, and I'm gonna actually grab a little bit of this blue, see what happens to break it up. <clears throat> Cleaning the tools. Okay, so we're gonna go white again. to have Chris around because she's an expert bloomer now. <laughs> she knows all about swipes. She knows about, she tells me if it's too busy or if the cells have warped. <laughs> so she's great to have around now, that's for sure. Actually, when I started my bloom journey, before I couldn't even do, because you know I'm very patient, I couldn't even do a four inch tile properly, but I thought I would jump right in and do, how big was that, Chris? That was probably like, like four feet, but it was a rectangle. I was like, okay, Chris, let's do it. And she helped me tilt my first one and it was an utter disaster, of course, but maybe we've come full circle, possibly. All right, there's a little bloop in there I wanna fix. So let's get that. I think there was a piece of pigment that didn't get mixed well enough. So, so that's a good point. The Payne's gray pigment 
is very thick uh, and like grainy. So you have to make sure that one is mixed properly. Yeah, oops, that was a big loop there. Okay. We'll fix that if we need to. Um, so pigments have the pigments have a different consistency, like that interference blue is super powdery, and the rest are okay, but then there's some like I believe the baboon red and this blue, um, that paint's gray, I should say, is pretty, um, you know, what am I trying to say? Like, rocky. Okay, so now we're gonna go again, and just with the gold. So maybe I'll swipe first. Sparkles look great under this light. So yes, I started this course on my birthday in February. February, March, April, May, June, July, August. So about six months ago. Um, <clears throat> with a goal of going big. And it's taken me this long to start to get there. But I showed you the piece that started it. Definitely get there too. The, the course is really what helped me, and other people helping me, but also a lot of trial and error. All right, let's get this. Back to the blues. I think I'm gonna just continue with the whites. I don't mind having this, although the black right there looks really cool, but I think what I'll, I'll throw in a few other little blacks somewhere. This is not cool, huh? I post all my work on Instagram and Facebook, so you can search me at Lisa Marvin Art. I so lazy to keep up with my Etsy stories, which I probably shouldn't be. But so most of my stuff, when people want to buy it, they just look through Instagram and send me a message. One day I'll act more professional, but who has the time for that, right? Okay. I'm also going to try to get rid of these black lines when I'm done. Like this, these negative space, I'm not sure I love too much. Let's see. All right, how do we even, see the problem is I can't even see what I'm looking at here, you know? All right, so for this one, maybe it'll be interesting. So I'll swipe it down. So this is where I would do like the small fixes. Um, but it's looking good so far. All right, I'm gonna keep swiping away, but is it looking too, no. The interesting part will be that kind of middle vein. So that's what I wanna focus on the most. And you don't want just a straight line, you wanna keep it interesting so the eye has something interesting to look at. I think anyways, my two cents. Cleaning the This is like. <laughs> Come on. This one's harder to clean. Okay, one more. But we're getting there faster than I thought, anyways. Okay. I'm running out of white, so. Should suit up pretty soon because we're going to be tilty babying in about 10 minutes. 
She makes a whole out of like spade food. <laughs> I don't know for garbage bags. I just use Elliot's clothes and then he yells at me. <laughs> okay. I literally, there's clothes now that are so crusted in paint, I can't put them on. So I have to buy new painting clothes. It was easier in the summer because I just throw on my painting dress, but now it's getting cooler not the case anymore. Okay. I don't want too much of the yellow showing. So, I'll, or maybe it'll be okay. It's hard to say. Okay. So now, I'm gonna Take out a piece of cardboard and start swiping down the middle. And we'll see how that looks. So I'll show you what I do. Oh, these scissors are crusted. Oh, the paint, okay. So the side I'm looking for. Okay. So I've taken just a, um, the cardboard from the canvas and I make a little lip and it's just kind of small and easy to work with. And actually, I'll just start breaking up some of this cell activator that I haven't, that can break up. Okay. I don't mind leaving the, I don't know if you can see, but there's some color that doesn't have cell activator. It really looks like a geode kind of, so I don't mind that so much. I just didn't want too much white uh, left on. Um, okay, so let's work on this side a little bit. So I'm not loving this is kind of boring. So I'm gonna do <clears throat> black and just swipe it that way. So I said I wanted to fix this area here because my eye goes to that and I don't like that. And maybe I'll do that in black to make it kind of interesting, right? The problem with my set says for you never really know what's going to happen until you tilt because it's going to warp and stretch and you don't know what places are going to get stuck or not. So. I have to, I'm going to break that up a little bit more. Let's see what we got. Um, Okay, okay. Ooh, that interference blue and the light is like popping, it's so nice. Okay, so why don't I do some more this way? Um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna leave Yeah, I'll do more this way, right? Okay. Where do I put? Oh, here's my tool. We are almost done, guys. I guess it doesn't really look like a beach, does it? I hope the colors don't clash together too much. Okay, so I'm going to 
going to do some more white and hmm conundrum I want to get rid of that yellow uh, so well, I'm going to smooth it first I just made it a lot more yellow. So let's see what happens after I swipe it. Oh, I didn't tell you how I laid my canvas down. It's kind of a lot. <clears throat> so my cake spinner is a rectangle, an 18 by 12 inch rectangle. On top of that, I have a wood rectangle for about two feet. On top of that, I have a three foot round. So it's not the most stable for spinning, but I'm mostly going to be tilting. So that's how it's being done right now. You know what? I'm going to wipe some blue in there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Also laid a, I'm on my our table where we usually eat. I've laid a huge tarp down. On top of the tarp, I covered with a ton of paper bags. So last time I did this, even though I did all that, I still got paint everywhere and all over myself, which is going to happen again for sure. All right, we're going to do one more swipe. Although these cells look a little they're going to break up a bit. Oh god, that's okay. So I'm going to do, why don't I just break this up a bit. And maybe that's okay actually. Okay, well, let's look at it. Chris, what do you think so far? Sweet. Does it look like a beach? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But, so now you have to decide very carefully what you want to keep more. So, now that I'm looking at it, I prefer the blue over the gold. So, I'm going to, my goal is to keep the blue first and make it a bigger part and have the gold uh, separately. So, whatever part you like the most, you want to keep. Um, you know what, let me do one more swipe so I don't have to tilt so much this way. Even though there's a little bit of paint, maybe I'll put the rest of my blue here, just because you see over there is only a little tilt, but here's a big tilt. So you want to be aware of what you're doing. So we'll just do this, why not, right? I have this paint anyways. <clears throat> and I'll use a small, my smaller tool and I'll um, schmooze it first, then we'll swipe it, then we'll go. Actually, I'll use my bigger tool. It's too small. Okay. You guys are the best if you're still here. Hopefully I'm not talking to myself. Okay, one more guys. So you just want to make sure before you tilt you got everything where you want it. And just enough white. And I hear Mo coming right now, of course. Hi Mo. Okay, this is an emergency code red because I'm about to tilt this huge painting. So we need your support, okay? No go mummy. No, no go mummy? That's your support? Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm cuddle. Oh, I would love to cuddle, honey. Do you know what? Once I tilt this, I'm gonna be done. And we're gonna do take a break. I can't you know why I can't take a break? Because this paint will dry and I won't be able to move it. Do you wanna come give me a hug my leg because I'm covered in paint? Come come hug my leg before we tilt. Oh, I'm sweating. No? Okay. So, I'm okay oh. with you, you had my leg, just not 
Yeah, hug. There you go. Good job. Yeah, I'm going to get a new shirt after I'm done. Okay, I'm going to finish. Hey, Mo, do you want some ice cream? Okay. But ice cream means that you get to be silent for like 10 minutes. Ice cream sandwich. Ice cream sandwich is a silent sandwich, right? Oh, we don't have ice cream sandwiches. Great. Daddy ate them all, honey. What about, do we have any other ice cream? That's the only thing you want. Of course it is. Guys, pray to the ice cream gods. I know your favorite ice cream types. You know what? No, no, no. Oh. Oh, you want a big cone? Oh, yes. You have the, the you have your cone ice cream. Okay. Oh, you want mint chocolate chip? Is that what you said? Mint chocolate chip? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't say that. Okay. Okay, I'm okay. So I'm going to um, go like this. Mm -hmm. And then my first idea is to tilt. Well, actually, I'm gonna tilt, I'm gonna tilt the corner first. Okay. That interference blue is like my favorite thing happening right now. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt it down this way first. Get these corners going kind of equally. Okay. So it's not all moving equally. So we're just at this point, like you can have an idea of what you want, but it's most likely not gonna turn out the way that you hoped. And then when Mo gets his ice cream, we're gonna tilt. And have a hug. And have a hug. For sure hug. That's the most important thing. Are you kidding? So, I'll keep bringing this down a little bit this way. And then, I'm gonna tilt. Okay, well, I guess I can start with myself a little bit. I'm going to, whoop, oh, see, I already have a bunch of paint on my feet. Okay. Oh God, is it stuck to anything? I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is tilt towards me so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay. No, I see I can't tilt it enough. Oh, I see. wait, before I continue, I see another blue. <laughs> you want some ice? Oh no, see? I'm gonna get black paint on Okay, hold on. So what I'm doing is, I'm taking off my gloves, because it was leaking, and there's like another blue here, which I don't like. Now I'm going to get a new glove, which I have right here. Oh, gosh. Good thing I put two layers of garbage bags down. Okay, and we're going to try this again. Okay. So, meanwhile, maybe I'll... I can't even get my gloves on because there's so much paint. <laughs> the whole video will be me trying to get a glove on. Okay. I'm gonna start tilting it back this way, so we're slowly stretching it. Oh gosh. Okay, so we're stretching it out. Now I'm gonna slowly stretch this way. Yeah. Is it moving? I can't even see what's happening, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, Chris? Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna. You, I'll do the heavy lifting, and you have to tell me when that color reaches the edge. So I'm gonna tilt it up, try to tilt it up this way, and get all that black off the edges. Yeah, you ready? Okay. Watch out, so you tell me. Okay, that was coming off, but this wasn't. Okay, so now I'm gonna go this way, 
So tell me when that reaches the edge. This one? Yeah. A little bit better. Is it moving? Yeah, it's moving. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna continue taking that edge off. Tell me when that little corner's off. Yeah, it's off. Okay. Okay. Whew. So now we're gonna tilt back this way. So you're gonna do the same. Tell me when that blue, that black is off. How's it going? It's moving. Is it looking slowly. okay? Slowly? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, let me see, because I can. Yeah. Okay. Woo, okay, yep. Holy cannoli. The blue's looking cool, though. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to start this way now and keep going that way. Okay. Tell me when it's good. Oh, God. Yeah, almost. Oh, okay. I want to look. Okay. Okay. Whew. Good. Good. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit this way. Yeah. So, hold on. Actually, no, I'm going to tilt it a little bit back to the middle. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Uh, no, you know what? I'm not even going to tilt it back to the middle. We're going to go off this way. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me when that black corner is going. Okay? Colors good? Oh, wow. Colors nice. 
All right, I'm gonna leave it because this is just as good as it's gonna get. Um, so let me bring it back to the middle. So I think, oh God, come on. Oh, uh, no. Pull it, oh, come on. Okay, I'll hold the bottom. Can you pull? Yeah. Okay, is it even? Ish? Okay. So let me, so probably first of all, when I look at it, probably like this, that bottom part's the most interesting to me. I'm gonna take off my gloves for a second. Come stand over here. Okay, I mean, I do wish that corner was off, but you know what, after it dries, I can mix my paint with um, some Floetrol or transparent color and kind of fix that. Because at this point, I don't want to mess with it too much. So again, not my goal, but not horrible, I think. I'll have to look at it from a chair. I'm about to do a close-up for you. So let me know what you think. Thanks. I hope you weren't too bored. Thanks for joining. Bye. I'm not going to be able to get the whole piece because I'm standing on a chair. But I'll do one with me standing up with it. Thank you for joining.